Good morning. Welcome to my channel, Hanson's Phil M. Life. I wanted to talk to you today about the origin of St. Paul University in Dumaguete. Have you ever wondered about some of these statues around town? Let's go back to 1904 to the landing of the first St. Paul Chartres Sisters in the Philippines and we'll explain about the statue in St. Paul's, the connection. On October 29, 1904, seven Sisters of St. Paul Chartres came from Vietnam and landed in Dumaguete in the Philippines to start a mission. They came at the invitation of Bishop Frederick Z. Hooker, Worker, sorry, of the Diocese of Jaro, which is Iloilo, to which the island of Negros then belonged. Joyfully welcomed by the Dumaguetenos, and they easily built rapport with the townsfolk, the SPC, which is the St. Paul's of Sartres, began their mission in the Philippines with a boarding school for 26 girls in 1904 that was near the St. Catherine of Alexander Cathedral. That's the big cathedral downtown next to the tower, the Belfry Tower. And then they established the St. Paul Academy, which opened on January 9th of 1905, and it's now known as St. Paul University. The high school opened in 1920 with the first graduation in 1925. Collegiate courses were offered years later. In 1904, the year of its centennial celebration, the college was granted university status. Now these seven nuns, they were pioneers and they were Mother Marte de Saint Paul Le Grande, Sister Anna de la Croix Anne, Sister Marie Louise du Sacre uh, Coutre Nouveau, I may be butchering the French language, Sister Anne Marie Bagnier, she was French, and Sister Marie Josephine Rappaport, she was American, Sister Catherine de Gens Coutres, she was Portuguese from Macau and Sister Charles Ajo, she was Chinese. Maria Echevez, Sister Ambrosi, became the first Philippine sister of the SPC, St. Paul Chartres, sister in 1904. Mother Marie Magdalene del Nagoya became the first Filipina superior of the congregation in 1965. As of nine, uh, 2004, the St. Paul of Sectors Sisters have established and managed more than 60 schools, health centers, and many other charitable institutions in the Philippines. And they continue to help the Filipino people in many ways. Now down on the boulevard, there is a monument. It's a ship with the, the Seven Sisters portrait in it on a big wave. This was erected at the launching of the centennial year, the 29th day of October, 2003. I'm sorry, 2004. And it was a marker that was put up by the Sisters of St. Paul Chartres, Philippines, to commemorate the birth of St. Paul's Chartres in the country. A year later, it was recognized by the National Historical Institute as a historical treasure. And there, Statue down on the boulevard, St. Paul University, and the Cathedral downtown have all been tied together in history. Now these ladies, they were trailblazers. They went from their countries to countries and left everything behind, gave up everything. Expats, they are, were similar, but these ladies came in a time when it was rather primitive. 1903, 1904, there's not much in, in uh, Dumaguete at that time.
and I salute them. So that's it about the, the lesson in history today, Dumaguete history. And I appreciate you watching, and if you like videos like this or the others that we have, please take a moment to, to uh, subscribe by clicking on the little uh, the gator down in the right hand corner and like the video, that would help, and share it with others. We appreciate all these actions and they will help us to make you make more videos for you. I hope that you enjoy them and thanks again for being with us today. Thank you.